Good morning all. So uh, last week I demoed a type of 1.5 I hadn't played with before that I originally saw in a video that Mira and I did. And it took me weeks to get this. And it took me even longer to figure out why it took me weeks to get this. So as I'm doing it right now, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and do the reverse variation too. Couple things to watch out for. Number one, there is a point at which the poi meet. Right now, it's towards my backside. It looks almost like a uh, like the note of an anti-spin flower, if you will. We'll do the uh, we'll do the side plan variation too. The other thing to watch out for is the fact that, unlike most 1.5s that I've played with, the point of overlap for this isn't at the top of the circle, it's at the bottom of the arc. Let me show you what I mean. So the standard 1.5 that we've played with essentially resembles a pattern like this, right? It's a circle, and then you do a stalling out at the top. Some people like to do it like this, where you're tracing the top of a circle. Some people like to do it essentially tracing a linear, I guess this, is, this could be thought of as analogous to a linear extension with your hand as uh, <clears throat> the nexus of the poi. But something different is going on with this other 1.5. Namely that, um, so, if, if, if you follow the path of the poi through one of these 1.5s, you'll notice that it's overlapping itself along the bottom of the circle down here. Right there. Right there. Whereas in the mirror eye pattern, it overlaps itself uh, not at the bottom of the circle, but at... Uh, at the bottom of the pendulum, like so. Now, two things make this pattern look different to me. Number one is the fact that it's overlapping the bottom of the, the pendulum. The other is that instead of having uh, a circle and then you know tracing a line around it, essentially a standard 1.5 is tracing the same, the exact same path as the circle except that uh, it's doing, it's adding a straight line to the pattern, right? Whereas uh, the mirror knife pattern doesn't. If you'll notice, the path of the poi follows kind of an X pattern through the middle. Why is this? Well, I've been thinking more and more about it, and it's basically what I'm coming up with is that this standard pendulum pattern right here, it reminds me a lot of, say, a linear extension. And I think one could almost think of a 1.5 as trying to be the inverse of a linear extension. That is, you stall out and thus you complete an inverse arc where a standard linear extension would complete the top part of the arc, if that makes any kind of sense. Unfortunately, gravity doesn't make it, it gravity makes it so that we can't do a complete inverted um, uh, linear extension because, yeah, quite frankly, that would mean that we'd have to come down on this side and be able to go straight back. Maybe somebody more talented than myself can do that. But it basically would uh, create a shape looking this and at least I can't do that. Maybe maybe a more advanced voice better than myself could. But anyway, so once again, what makes this pattern different? What I'm coming to is that I think this is actually a uh, linear isolation put on top of a standard circle. Linear 
linear isolation, of course, being a pattern like this, where the poise stays still and the hand traces a straight line, right? So let, let's, uh, let, let's, let's try this pattern again. And what you'll see is that indeed on the way down there is a point at which the poise stays still while the hand traces the arc down and then carries the poi straight back into that circle. So, things you can do with this. Um, as pointed out earlier, there's the forward vari there's I guess we call this the reverse variation since the uh, poi are turning backwards. There's the uh, there's the wall plane variant. And of course there is the forward variant. There's a butterfly variant, which it turns out looks almost exactly like the pattern that my friend DJ came up with a couple weeks ago, and he said it looked a lot like a horizontal cat eye to him. Oops. So yeah, and just to demonstrate the difference once again. This is that mirror knife pattern where there is a nexus where the point meet in the middle. This is the standard 1.5 pattern. Once again, there's a nexus and they shoot off in opposite directions. And then there's the linear extension version where they still trace the same path around the circle. Anyway, um, this has led me to all kinds of fun places that um, I've got massive, massive amounts of scribbles in my little notebook around. But unfortunately, um, it's Thanksgiving and uh, I don't have a lot of time to go into them. So maybe over Thanksgiving I'll record them all. But anyway, um, one of the funnier places that this has taken me is um, since we've worked with the idea of uh, vertical variations on 1.5s. It started me wondering about what if we cut the arc in half and moved it over laterally. And I wound up with this funky little pattern, which resembles a yin-yang to me. At least two yin-yang superimposed against each other. And uh, you can also do it shorthand as like an infinity symbol. And the trick of it is just to keep it in wall plane. I'm probably not the first person to think of it, but I'm a big fan of it at least. Um, <clears throat> aside from that, um, clarification from Mary and John Baseball last week. So when you are practicing your hybrids, with your feet set at a 45 degree angle. First, set them at uh, first set them into wall plane so that both of your feet are parallel with the point. Then you set them, uh, I guess this would be perpendicular to the plane of the point so that you're practicing it then in wall plane and move between uh, those variants as you are turning. Yeah. Um, aside from that, I um, started playing with inversions this week and um, noticed that I could make a buzzsaw flower go in an infinity pattern. Silly, but fun.
Yeah. Anyways, I played around with more stuff in the past week, but I'm in kind of a rush this morning. So, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, I will see you after Turkey Day, and hopefully be a few months out here. Peace.